some small housekeeping. Going forward from here, it is important that we are always on the map, or route, we are creating scenarios for in the main view window. The reason for this is that we'll be making extensive use of both the 2D map of the route, aptly named the route map, and the 3D world itself for fine tuning certain aspects of what we're doing. Normally, the editor will load you into the default map. I will show you in this section how to avoid that happening when you load the editor. I will also show you how to set a route to favourite so that if you wish to work on a different route, you don't have to go trawling through the content manifest to find the right map file. For the sake of this tutorial series, we'll be using the West Somerset Railway route. In your content manifest, navigate to the route content folder. In our case, this is the folder named West Somerset Content. Open that folder and locate the map folder. And double click, open the map folder and double click on the West Somerset Railway map file. This will load the map into the main viewport. This may take a few moments depending on the power of your PC. Click on route map and it loads the 2D route map. This will be important later. To ensure this map loads when we restart the editor, we will do the following. Click on edit. Enter to Preferences, Loading and Saving. Load level at startup set to last opened. Also have ticked Restore Open Asset tabs on Restart. Once a map is loaded, we can also add it to Favorite Levels. Go to File, Favorite Levels, and select Add, in this case it's West Somerset Railway Map, but it'll be whatever map you're working on to favorites. Now, when we go back to favorite levels, you see that you have the West Somerset Railway map loaded in to favorite levels. With regards to files apparently being missing upon reloading a project. At the moment, some files will appear to have disappeared from your folders within the editor. Fear not, they are not missing. If you see a missing file, such as a timetable or definition, open your file browser on Windows. Navigate to where you have the editor installed, go to Train Sim World 4 Mod, then to TS2 Prototype, Plugins, your plugin name, Content, Scenarios, your scenario name, and from there, copy into Content Manifest the missing files. It will come up with an error message which you can safely ignore, et voila, your missing plugin is now no longer missing. To prevent this happening to the three files we created in the last tutorial, it is advisable to leave them loaded on the top bar next to the map and route map when you close the editor. They will automatically load as it, and thus appear in the content manifest when you next load the editor. As a final note for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using one monitor to do all the work. It is highly advisable to have two or more monitors when working with the editor for ease of use and sanity reasons. If you only have one monitor, this is okay, but bear in mind you'll be switching between multiple tabs in the editor. Please also note I have left the tutorial hat in the upper right corner alone. This is your I'm working radar. When the green wing blips emanating from it are doing so at a regular swift interval, you know that it is safe to be editing files in the editor. If these are moving slowly or frozen, it generally means the editor is processing information and you should wait for the rings to stabilize before proceeding with any work.